This is a field green property in Stone Mountain. The street view here. Take a look at the property across the street. It looks like it's freshly remodeled. New paint, new carpet. So, take a look inside. Huge driveway. Pressure wash it. Makes it look uh, newer. It's wet now because it's been raining. When you pressure wash these driveways, uh, kind of makes these cracks in the concrete disappear. They're not bad, but just makes it look better. So walk in here. This is a foyer. This is your formal living. Formal living, probably update the fixture. Obviously, you're, I'd probably remove this door and just uh, leave the frame and then remove the wallpaper the chair rail around the, around the sides there you can probably just paint the top portion one color and the bottom another color or the walls the same color and then just uh, the trim white so here I would personally probably put some uh, after repair value and this one's probably around 110 uh, 115, maybe a little bit more, depending on what you fit, what the finishes look like. I'd probably put some linoleum uh, wood or some laminate wood down, depending on the budget. So, so here we walk into the living room. As you can see, it's a good size, great open space, and on the other side of this wall here is the kitchen, which uh, we're gonna talk about maybe opening up. Down here is a sunken living room and fireplace. This part of the living room here, this little step that we see here, that can be removed and so can the other side to open it up a little bit. May put some chairs, um, make it look a little bit open. The rest of it is just paint, carpet, probably some laminate wood. So here is your, I guess your breakfast area. So just remove all this wallpaper, makes it look super dated. Um, paint it, and new flooring. Kitchen, I'd go with granite. It's uh, not a huge cost difference between that and uh, Formica. So cabinets, just uh, reface them or just paint them a white with new fixtures. Uh, this wall here actually looks in, out into the living room. I may remove all of this there in the middle, put a little bar on the other side because of the, all the space you have, and then that way you can have a better open floor plan. So, we'll go over here, you see you have a nice size pantry and this here is your laundry room as you can tell it's a huge laundry room what we were considering and would definitely be a bonus is you have your washer dryer here then you have a window after the window you can actually maybe add a wall here after the window and have a half bath installed because it's a pier and beam uh, foundation you can easily run plumbing and you already have your drain line fairly close uh, due to the fact that you have your washer and dryer here so you can maybe add a uh, half bath would be a bonus to the house back here you have your breaker box all these doors are six panel doors and they're actually hardwood or real wood, so I'd keep them, um, maybe even leave them, depending on your taste. This uh, garage was converted, as you can tell, they added French doors and was converted into just a large room. Uh, because, as you will see here shortly, the rooms that we have available are fairly large, I would convert this back to a functional garage. Obviously, you already have the uh, electrical run, so you can add your garage door opener there. Put your garage doors back on, and then you can have a garage again. So, let's 
go to the other side, take a look at the bedrooms. This door here, uh, I you know, its purpose is to separate uh, the bedroom from the living room, but nowadays it just seems it makes the property seem sort of more choppy. I would remove that and just leave the frame there, but again, it just depends on your preference. Here's one of the bedrooms, huge bedroom, and it's not even the master, so just paint, carpet it. Probably is well kept, just very dated. Nice size closet. Here is one of the bed, uh, sorry, bathrooms. Wallpaper, get rid of that. The surrounding tub look good. Uh, as a hall, you probably leave it as a rental. And, and and keep in mind, this entire house, as it is now, as it sits, clean it, and you can rent it tomorrow. Maybe just replace the carpet because it is a little faded, uh, outdated color as well. But if you just pretty much clean it, you can rent it tomorrow. So um, retail, you would definitely new cabinets, new countertops, new elongated toilet. Uh, Floor mm, depends, may keep or uh, get rid of depending on what you're doing with the rest of the house. Uh, but as a rental, remember keep all this. So let's go to the other bedroom. Again, another good size bedroom. Paint, carpet. It's all it really needs for a retail for rent. It's ready to go. Walk into your master now. So you have a huge master, good sized closet there. You have a door, sliding door, which takes you out to the back deck. You have more closet space in here, the smaller closet, so. Whoever has least clothes gets that closet. Now, one thing I'm not a fan of in the master is the single sink. Definitely replace the top, and possibly with granite, and then make it a double sink vanity. That way, it's uh, more updated, and plus, everyone wants their own sink nowadays. The mirror probably have two individual mirrors over each sink or just put a frame around a big mirror just like the one that's there now. Here is your bathroom as you can tell. Again, good shape, well kept, well maintained. Has a rental, ready to go. Retail, new surround. Tub can actually be salvaged. New fixtures, new toilet. I'm going downstairs into the basement now. I don't have a flashlight. But as you can see, this is a bonus room, large bonus room. On the other side is just the same amount of space. Can't see it, obviously, because I don't have my flashlight. But the this room here, I guess there's no point of being in there. But uh, this entire room, pretty much whatever you see on this side, double it, and that's what's on the other side of this wall. So I would probably remove this wall and expand it to the uh, other side. Make it a huge game room. So, let's see if we can go outside from here. Perfect. So, here we are. This is sort of like a screened in porch. Or screened in, sorry. Yeah, back porch underneath the deck. So, there you see the deck. It goes across the entire back of the house. Good structure. The sidings are good. I already have gutters, just clean those out. One thing I'd like to point out is this one here, as you can see, has some play in it. Um, you would have to repair that. The rest of it seems very solid. On the other side, here, the 
spacing between these are wider than they should be. So you should de you're definitely going to have to add some more of those to be more so that can actually be to code or safer. That's the back of the house there. That was the living room we were just in a moment ago. So let's see here. See there, I reconnect the gutter. Side of the house, pretty much you, all the side is in good shape. You're gonna paint it again. So you could, uh, I mean, I just personally don't like this color. But you can definitely, if you like it, it's very marketable. It's still a neutral color, just depends on you know what you would like to see. On this side here, you notice you're missing your AC unit. So replace your AC unit. There's your gas meter. So, that is the property on Field Green.